Hello, hello. I have come to start off the September challenge in my Facebook group because everyone seems so desperate for it to start. I've had so many messages about, is there going to be a September challenge? Um, I do usually give two weeks-ish. So um, there's still plenty of time, plenty of time. Um, this month's challenge is called A Bit of a Puzzle. And I got the idea from Cheryl Harding in my Facebook group. And one other person who I have hunted everywhere and I cannot find it. It was um, obviously about altering puzzle pieces. So I've had a go at a few today. They do take a little bit longer than I was expecting. So it probably is a good job that I'm kickstarting the challenge a little bit early this month. But even if you're not taking part in the challenge, they're, they're really fun to do. But they are a little bit more time consuming than I, th I thought they were going to be. So I've done this one. You're going to see bits of glue all over the place. Um, I've done this one. I think they're super cute, but they are a bit fiddly. Um, this one is a nice, simple one. So we'll do one of those. And then this one, which is my favourite and took the longest. So what I did, I've painted all of mine black, but what, what I did is these have been sanded and very roughly sanded. So there's lots of texture and... You know roughness on these um i did have three pieces left oh, there's the other one so these are the three pieces of puzzle i have left then i did gesso them um and then i used acrylic paint to paint them black um and i just thought black was a good color uh however i made a heck of a mess so you know you might want to do a different color also one of my trials i tried to decoupage with a napkin and if you if you plan to do some decoupage with a napkin, don't paint them black. Use white because the napkins just look pretty pants on the black pieces. Now, I did also do some teeny weeny puzzle pieces, but they, these are probably going to end up as some kind of charm and maybe not decorated quite as, as much because... You know, these ones are challenging enough and they are quite big. So it's a challenge. That's what it is. It's a challenge. You only have to do one. You can decorate it however you like. It's complicated or as simple as you want. So let's get started. I'm going to make mine in a similar theme to the others. Um, but what I'm going to do is start with a very easy one. And I am going to... Let me think. Um... I'm going to use this piece to do the first one. Now, what I thought I was going to do to the background is I've got some of this gorgeous, um, tiny printed French letters um, that I got from Liz. And I'm hoping I'm going to remember. I will post the link down below. So I'm just going to cut that out roughly. So this one's going to be fairly simple one we're going to try and keep this a bit a bit easier to kind of manage now I'm just going to tear just bring my ink in I've got the camera a lot closer today so I do apologize in advance if I hit the camera with my head so we'll go something like that now there are probably people out there who've done loads of these before and I've probably found a much much easier method. Um, me, on the other hand, first piece of puzzle I've ever decorated was this morning. So um, <laughs> it's going to be what it's going to be, isn't it? Again, no plan. It was just, I just started. Just got on with it this morning. So I'm going to pop that on there just to give a bit of background interest. And I'm quite glad I painted mine black because I think it does give a pretty good base. You don't always have to. What I might do is just jazz a bit up with, with maybe some. Now that's that's kind of hanging off the edge and I'm happy with that. I'm not going to try and trim this until that's dried a little bit. I'll try and get off as much of the glue as I can, but <laughs> it's not easy. It really isn't easy. So... 
try and clear a little bit of my desk here. Uh, get my stamps. Uh, oh, I've opened on the page that I want to open on too. Actually, these are perfect. These little botanical stamps. And of course, you can you can do anything you want. You don't have to have botanicals in here if you don't want to. I think that would work there. So this one is a nice, simple, straightforward one. So we'll get that one done first and then we'll maybe crack on to a more more complicated one if <laughs> if if we can it's actually it's quite difficult to find bits and pieces to go on them and you may have realized that I used my good old faithful uh, minis mini embellishments printed even smaller um, that I you know I get this tin out all the time this is my my favorite go-to bits and pieces tin and obviously all the little pieces that have fallen out but I've got got those you can print any any kit you have you can use book pages that would be perfect um, so I'm gonna grab my teeny tiny printed labels and have a little look see what I could I really probably do need to go with these tiny, tiny ones. Now this might not work because it's not got a lot of... No, I'm going to go for this one. It's got a bit more of a frame. So I'm going for this tiny one here. But what I might do is just trim it before I... So this is kind of an extension to the makeup mini challenge. It's another mini, and I, know I do have next month's next month's idea is all formulated too. So I know what next month's is going to be. Oh no, that might not. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to trim this first. Now, what I do is just start by trimming pieces out with. A small pair of scissors. Now, obviously, I haven't let the glue dry as much on these, so it's going to get a bit sticky. Okay, you can see I haven't done the backs of my puzzle pieces, but that's because I'm, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick them to stuff, so it doesn't matter. Now, I'm going to take my knife. I might speed this up. Hold your breath if you don't like watching this kind of thing. So that's reasonably okay. It's not perfect, but what I have been doing is taking my Sharpie and going round the edge of the puzzle again. Now, some of the edge of the puzzle has already been um, round with the Sharpie because where I've missed pieces with the paint, rather than get all the paints out again, I've just filled in those pieces with the Sharpie and this works perfectly. It does seem to neaten up the edges quite nicely and I'm also going to go along that piece where I've cut from the top as well. So I've not got any white paper edges. And then get that flat to dry it. And then I'm just gonna ink. And then that gives you a pretty good, pretty good finish. Yeah, it's not perfect, but they're so small. They're so small doesn't really matter if you've got a tiny bit I can't remember if I've inked this it's a bit um a bit teeny weeny but this is my little little label and I'm gonna gonna put that somewhere in that kind of area I think I'm gonna get out my watch my head sorry oh. Duck 
sticking under the tripod. So I'm just going to use my art glitter glue for this because I'm sticking onto paper and I want to make sure I don't get too much glue everywhere. I mean, it's not, it's not easy, but let's see if I can get some glue. There we go. Okay, so that is a fairly nice, easy, quick puzzle embellishment. So what I'm going to do in a moment is grab my, what shall I use, possibly acrylic paints, I think. And we might just touch up a little bit around there. I might also try my oil pastels, see if they work. Okay, next piece I'm going to do is this one. Um, so... What pieces have I got? I'd really like to use, I love these on here, bingo card. So I'm going to try that. I've also cut up on some of them. This one here, can you see? That's the tiny little envelope ledger paper. That I haven't used yet, so that might be quite nice. Let's have a little, have a little play and see what we think. Okay, so that was taking me a ridiculous amount of time to try and decide where I was going with this one. So what I've got is I've got my puzzle piece. Um, I've got a few little elements that I've kind of laid out and had a look to see what I like. I've cut this little lady out a little bit because we're gonna pop her along here. Somehow I'm going to put that around there. And then we're gonna have a little, little label here and possibly a key, possibly not, possibly this label instead of that. But I'd have to get a few bits down just to see, really. So, <laughs> sorry about the um, removal of the decision making, but it was getting a little bit silly. Um, I was I was spending way, way too long trying to decide what to do. a while took a while and it's now in completely different direction because I like it that way better now so I apologize that took so long but what I'm just going to do to finish them off is I've got my Inca gold and I'm just going to um this is copper I'm just going to Put a tiny bit on my finger and I dab it off in there. I'm just going to go around some of those edges that are on the black rather than where there's some plain black. Just to bring out some highlights here and there. I'm not going over the top. Can you see? Just a teeny bit here and there. 
and that will be the end of those. Um, I hope you have better luck. Um, I seem to be going okay until I filmed. So um, it was filming. That was the problem for me today. Quite often the way. So I'm just going to go around these in a few little places. I mean, when we do projects like this, we always end up with a couple of things or maybe one or two that we're not happy with. Um, on the whole, <laughs> I'm happy with what I did today. Um, it's just that one. Not happy with that one. It's drying out a bit now. Need to moisten that. I always use my finger, obviously you don't have to. It's probably not a good idea, really. Okay, so I'm just going to carry on and finish these off. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you have better luck with the challenge than I did, but it is a challenge. So um, I'm sure you're going to come up with some marvellous puzzle pieces. So I will speak to you all very soon. I have a project that I do have to share with you. Um, looking forward to that. And um, thanks for watching. Bye.